Hey guys, so for this video, I want to talk about the current assault rifle meta in Fortnite Chapter 2. In case you didn't know, Epic just added the heavy assault rifle, otherwise known as the AK, back into the game. That means there are now three variations of ARs to choose from for each different rarity. The most interesting thing though is that the heavy AR is only available through a new feature called side grading, which I will explain in a minute. Two quick things before we start is that first, I'm gonna throw up some timestamps for all of you impatient people who want to skip around. And then second is to let you guys know Epic changed the in-game colors, so if anything looks weird or funky, blame it on them and not me. With that being said, let's start with a basic introduction to the heavy assault rifle. Coming straight out of the version 11.40 patch notes, the heavy assault rifle has returned through a process called side grading. Side grading adds a completely new aspect to the game and works very similar to how upgrading a weapon does. All you do is trade in a specified amount of materials as well as your gun, but instead of getting back the same weapon with a higher rarity, you receive a different weapon of the same rarity. That's why it's called side grading and not upgrading grading or downgrading. Anyways, as we just saw in the trailer, all you need to side grade is an assault rifle, materials, and of course a weapon upgrade bench, which can be found in various spots around the map. Just go up to it, hold out the specific weapon you want to side grade, and then hold down your side grade keybind. Currently, the whole process will cost you 20 materials of each type, meaning 60 in total, and boom, you have yourself a heavy AR. Some important things to note are that you can only side grade a normal AR into a heavy one. So a burst AR or a FAMAS cannot be side graded, only upgraded. On top of that, you can also side grade a heavy AR back into an assault rifle if you really want to. The process is the exact same, meaning you'll receive the same tier of AR and it will cost you another 60 materials. Lastly, in case you're like me and you have a building structure bound to the default side grade keybind it gives you, you will need to change that in your settings. Just go to the miscellaneous keybinds down to the carry object slash side grade one and change it to something that's not a building piece. Now, the biggest takeaway of all that stuff is that the heavy assault rifle will not be easy to obtain. Since it's only available through side grading, you cannot get it from chests, floor loot, or even supply drops. The only two ways to get your hands on it are from side grading it yourself or getting lucky and killing someone who has it. Epic did say the heavy AR is only supposed to be available in non-competitive playlists, but I guess they already screwed that up because you can currently get it in arena and I saw unknown army destroying with it in a cash cup. Regardless, what most of you came here for is to find out what's better, the heavy AR, the normal AR, or the burst AR. In order to tell you though, I'm gonna first cover the lower rarity versions of those weapons, aka the white, green, and blue ones. Contrary to popular belief, those tiers of the heavy AR did actually get changed. All three of their damages were nerfed, and all three of their fire rates were buffed. To be a little more specific, its base damages went from from 38, 40, 42 for the uncommon, common, and rare heavy ARs to 33, 35, and 37. That is a 5 damage nerf for each different rarity. Then its fire rate was increased from 3.75 bullets per second to 4.25, which is a pretty hefty buff. Here are all of their stats for those of you interested in things like reload time, DPS, and structure damage. Don't worry about memorizing all of that stuff stuff or knowing it off the top of your head, as the main stat we care about are damage numbers. I know I just mentioned them, but the white heavy AR does 33 with a body shot and then 66 with a headshot. The white normal assault rifle does 30 with a body shot and 60 with a headshot, and the burst does a measly 27 to the body and 54 to the dome. Moving up a rarity, the green heavy AR does 35 base damage as well as 7 to the head, the green AR does 31 with a body, 62 to the head, and the green burst does 58 to the body and 29 to the head. Finally, the blue heavy AK does a whopping
whopping 37 to the body and 74 to the head. The blue normal AR does 33 to the body and 66 to the head. And then the wimpy blue burst does 30 to the body and 60 to the head. Based on those damage numbers alone, you would think we have a clear winner in the AK. But that's only if you can hit all of your shots. We still need to take into account how accurate each assault rifle is. To measure that, I ran three assessments testing Bloom, Recoil, and First Shot Accuracy. For Bloom, the lower tier bursts, aka the FAMAS, had by far the worst while aiming down sight, followed by the Heavy Assault Rifle and the Normal Assault Rifle. While not aiming down sight though, the Heavy Assault Rifle had the most Bloom, the Burst had the second most, and the Normal AR had the least again. Regarding Recoil, the Heavy AR also had the most and was the hardest to handle, with the Normal Assault Rifle coming in next and the Burst AR coming out on top. Lastly, first shot accuracy times were dominated by the normal AR as it reset the fastest, followed by the heavy AR, and then the burst. Therefore, the normal assault rifle is generally the most accurate, and then it's a toss-up between the burst and the heavy depending on if you're tap firing or full auto. I think the clear winner overall though, when you take into consideration all the damage numbers we talked about, is the normal AR for the white, green, and blue blue rarities. It's just way too consistent and good to pass over for a heavy or burst assault rifle. I'm not saying I don't like the heavy because I actually think it's a lot better than the burst in the lower tier rarities, but it's insane recoil and bloom oftentimes makes hitting your shots extremely hard. So for the uncommon, common, and rare assault rifles, the normal AR is the best, the heavy AR is the second best, and then the burst is by far the worst. Well, what about the higher tier ones, especially the new variations of the heavy assault rifle? Damage wise, the purple AK does a fat 39 to the body and 78 to the head. Even crazier is that the gold one does 41 to the body and an absurd 82 damage to the head. That is by far the most damage any assault rifle has done since the infantry back in season X. But where does it stack up against the other purple and gold ARs. As you really should know, the purple scar does 35 to the body, 70 to the head, and the gold scar does 36 to the body, 72 to the head. Then, the purple AUG or the burst does 32 to the body, 64 to the dome, and the gold does 33 to the body, 66 to the dome. In my last weapon guide video, I'm pretty sure I said the AUG was better than the scar, mainly because of its little to no bloom, and its its potential to hit more than one bullet because it's a burst. My answer today is actually a lot different, but it's not all because of the heavy assault rifle. As you can see here, a quick test of the weapon's accuracies shows that the AUG still has like no bloom when fully spraying and aimed down sight. The SCAR and the AK don't have a lot either. The thing is, some bloom is worse than none. And speaking of bloom, just take a look at the heavy AR's bloom when and not ADSing. It honestly reminded me of the drum shotgun from way back in the day because of how big the spread got. Regarding recoil, again, the burst has none because it gets reset by the first shot accuracy. The scar has a tiny bit, and just like the lower rarities, the heavy has a ton. Finally, first shot accuracy resets the fastest on the scar if you tap fire, second fastest on the heavy AR, and slowest on the AUG, even though it does reset every three bullets. Now, to stop beating around the bush, my current rankings would go Scar as the best, and then Heavy AR and Burst would be tied in second. I'm sorry if that was anticlimactic and you expected the new Heavy Assault Rifle to be the best. I really do love everything about it. I think its sound is sick, its damage is good, and that its recoil and bloom offset how insane it can be with good aim, but there's no situation where I would ever take it over a scar or go and side grade for it. The scar has a faster fire rate, does nearly as much damage, and can be used up close, which the heavy cannot because of its huge bloom. 
Overall guys, that's everything you need to know about the heavy assault rifle and the current AR meta. So if you enjoyed the video, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerrion. I really do appreciate all your support recently as we go through these dark times in boring Fortnite content. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.